Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is to follow you must see and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Mark chapter 10 verses 50 and 51 and throwing aside his garment he rose and came to Jesus. So Jesus answered and said to him what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him Rabboni that I may receive my sight. Then Jesus said to him go your way your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. For a few days now, I have stayed on the story of blind Bartimaeus and I have continued to pray that my ability or lack of it to communicate what I have in my spirit will not hinder the Holy Spirit from speaking directly to every heart listening. The Bible says that after Jesus stood still and called Bartimaeus to himself, he asked what many may have called a strange question. What do you want me to do for you? A blind man was shouting out for help from Jesus. What else could he have wanted? But Jesus still asked. Jesus asked because he needed to know what exactly Bartimaeus wanted. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give a stone? Or for fish, will give a serpent? In other words, it is what you ask for that the spiritual realm is obliged to give No assumptions. Remember that Bartimaeus had been sitting on the road begging for alms. Jesus needed to be sure of what demand Bartimaeus was laying on his anointing. Bartimaeus himself was a wise man. He may have been physically, visually impaired, but he was wise. He knew that up until then, he had been asking from people who could not help him much. But now he was face to face with the God before whom nothing was impossible. With the master who had said that he is the way, the truth and the life. He believed in Jesus and asked for that which no other person could give him. Rabboni, he said, that I may receive my sight. For when I see you, then I can follow you. And when I follow you, I can have everything I truly need to have. Jesus was impressed by this request. He healed him as we know, but look what the Bible tells us next. It says immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. My dear listeners, without sight and light, you cannot truly follow Jesus. More than once in scripture, you see blind men healed by Jesus and the next thing you see is that they followed him. In our walk with God, if we will be true followers of Jesus, we may have to stop praying some of the needy prayers we are praying and start praying for light and sight. For how can you follow if you do not see? No wonder the Bible says, seek first the kingdom and other things will be added. We all need to contend for this light and sight. And we will continue with this in the next episode by the grace of God. But until then, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, we cry to you again for light. Please continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.